was just over a month ago when a bus carrying dozens of Texans got stuck on the tracks in Mississippi and a train smashed into it, killing four and injuring 35 others. It happens more than you might think. In March, a Crockett High School student was hit by a train. Union Pacific says a train hits a person or a vehicle every three hours in the U.S. So, so the night, night beats, beats Tina, Tina Shively Sorry about that. shows us how Austin police are teaming up with Union Pacific to make our crossings safer. <laughs> 55 miles an hour may not seem so fast, but a freight train forced to stop at that speed needs more than a mile of track to do so. I think that uh, they can uh, get out, out of the way of the moving train in time before it, they, they get hit. Special Agent Alfredo Rodriguez participates in Union Pacific's Crossing Accident Reduction Education and Safety, or UPCARES program. It didn't take long before he spotted someone trespassing near the tracks Wednesday afternoon. Let me call the agent. There's a, a, a student with a maroon shirt, blue jeans, and a black backpack walking south. This person was cited for trespassing a Class C misdemeanor with a fine of up to $100. While pedestrians pose part of the problem, drivers often ignore obvious warnings, and that could be deadly. Okay, we're coming back up to Stasi now. Up Cares involves collaboration with other agencies. Any cars crossing right now, y'all can get. The lights are on, y'all can get them. I saw a maroon Dodge. Silver SUV going east. APD was on board with a bird's eye view to spot misbehaving motorists. They want to make, you know, floor it and try to beat the train, and that's why they make it a violation. When the lights are on and flashing, you still have to stop, even though the arms aren't down. Senior police officer Jeff Vance radioed to fellow highway patrol officers on the ground. The team gave out nearly a dozen warnings and citations to drivers for everything from talking on their cell phones to failing to stop once they saw the flashing lights. What they're doing is dangerous and it's illegal. Rodriguez hopes campaigns like this will remind people that an impending 12 million pound freight train shouldn't be taken lightly. A lot of times they're rushed and that's why they take chances, but if they leave with plenty of time to get to their destination, they wouldn't put themselves in danger. In Austin, Tina Shively, KV News Nightbeat. UPCARES began back in 1972. Union Pacific plans to team up with several other unnamed agencies to continue their efforts tomorrow.